In this video, I'm going to show you how the uh, Super Beetle Mexican Cinder that's not been modified, plus a 5.1 volt regulator and an aftermarket gauge that's not calibrated, how it works together as if you bought it right from uh, one of the, the distributors that, uh, like J-Bugs or whatever, just how it will work. So I'm doing an initial resistance check for empty at 68 ohms. That's really good. Uh, like around eh, 65 to 72 or somewhere in there, it's fine. And the gauge, the long arm float is all the way to the bottom. So the gauge is reading uh, with the key off position about a minus two uh, millimeters from uh, the empty mark. Okay, so at the uh, empty mark, looks like we're at about a minus 0.5 millimeters, which is okay for empty. Uh, we'll move along now to uh, the reserve. Okay, like I've showed you in uh, other video, uh, that at reserve it's 52 ohms and it should be at 45. So... You can see it's sitting here on the R uh, shim, and the gauge uh, is getting ready to go here. Pause. Okay, so as you can see, we're about a plus uh, one or plus two uh, millimeters from empty. It should be over at R, and I am sitting on the R shim. So, uh, really means that if you had this in your car, that it would be reading almost empty, but you'd have another maybe a half a gallon of gas left in the tank. That wouldn't be too bad. Okay, now we're doing the quarter of a tank. You can see I've got my shim on there in there and uh, measuring about 37, 38 ohms and at a quarter of a tank you would really want to see about 33. So we'll see what the gauge reads here in a moment. All right, the gauge now shows uh, right at R. It should be reading a quarter of a tank. So when you're at the R position like that, uh, one quarter of a tank is uh, about two and a half gallons. So uh, when you're at R, you normally would have a gallon left. So you really have more, uh, a gallon and a half uh, more of gas when you're at R. Yeah, I don't know, maybe some, some, a lot of people live with this. Okay, pausing. Okay, I've got my half a tank shim in here, and I'm reading 24. 26 ohms, and at half a tank, I should be reading 22, I mean 21, okay? So I'll pause and we'll... Okay, so I've got the half tank shim in there, and you can see uh, what's happened to uh, the, the gauge. It says all we have in there is uh, just a little bit above reserve, and uh, it should be reading a half a tank. And so. Okay. So I've got the short arm all the way to the top of the tank. And the resistance is reading about uh, 10 ohms. And as you can see, the gauge is not even giving you a half a tank. And this is all because this aftermarket gauge that we are getting from all the vendors is at the wrong resistance. It should be uh, at about 18 ohms, and, but what we're getting is about 34 ohms. And that's why we don't get a good reading. And so what we have to do is increase the voltage, and that's the 7.5 volt regulator and then you have to calibrate the gauge to get it to, to work fairly decent. The other item that I have pointed out 
also is that the cinders are not conducive to the Super Beetle tank really very well. And to modify this uh, Mexican cinder to really make it read close enough is kind of marginal. But of the three out of the box, the JP groups, the MP, and uh, the Mexican. The Mexican is probably pretty close to the best, but if you modify the MP, it, it, it works pretty darn good. Okay, that concludes uh, the testing of the Mexican cinder, and uh, so I'm going to hold off and not do any more testing like this, and uh, we'll do a, a summary here about how to bend the MP arms and stuff later on. Thanks for watching.